All right, my friends. Don't laugh just yet. It's old. It's got duct tape on the handlebars. Right? But it's a classic. And I mean a classic, right? Bridge and Stratton classic. So the first thing we're going to do is see if we can just get these handlebars so that they're not driving us nuts. Uh, over here, they're wobbling, right? They don't have the right pins with the, with the spinners in them. That's okay. We'll just tighten them up and then we'll see why we can't uh, uh, use the handlebars in the right position. So I'm just going to cut off this tape, take off the air filter. Let's, is there any fuel in it? Well, oh, it doesn't look too bad. No rust in the tank. I tell ya. Primer bulb works. So I'm just going to do a little bit of tiny, a little bit of tightening up right over there. And you guys can just see if we can get this thing to arf, 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 arf. 9 sixteenths, it looks like to me. And I don't know if you guys have these in in the, in the United States, but this is a gray wrench. Kenny would know. These are indestructible. They're a little thick, but this is one of the best wrenches ever made in Canada. I think there's an American equivalent. Half inch. Yeah, half inch. Pardon me. I'm just gonna tighten this guy up enough so that uh, we can do some testing to see if it's a viable repair or not. Pinch the cables, right? Okay, that helps already. It was owned by a lady. We got it from her dad, I think. Oh, it's got oil in it, but it's not pretty. It should run. Look at that, the throttle even works. Can you guys believe that? Usually on these old guys, I'm getting more excited all the time. Look at that. So let's just give her a couple pumps. It's got oil, it's got fuel. And we'll see if it burns. I'm going to do about four. I just did one earlier, so that would make a total of five. It's actually not in that bad of shape. It looks terrible. Did you hear that? Okay, man. I tell you, the old Briggs and Stratton classics. I bet you the air filter's dirty, but it started, so it's a lot easier to fix a mower that's running. <laughs> and look at once again, the spark plug faces the operator. This is an old machine. Oh, can you believe it even started? Look at that. Let's take it apart. This is the fun stuff. Once they're running, right? Should even start better now. Can breathe. They're just like us. They gotta be able to breathe. So the reason why I do that is I like to feel how much suction is on there because it tells you if the engine's really good or not. All right. So now, 
None of the tires are set at the same height. Now that should be fairly close to the ground. That's good. It's got oil. Now we're going to, uh, you know what, let's just see what year this old girl is. There it is. Model. 1992. <laughs> so what do you do with a 1992 lawnmower that runs? Sell it for 40 bucks, just tune it up, change the oil, clean the plug, put in a new air filter, and clean these handlebars up a little bit. Cool! How's the blade look? She needs a bath. The blade is dull as dull as dull can be. However, it's all there. A short shaft. Bridge and Stratton. So, I wonder, um, yeah, I wonder what she's doing tonight. What do you think, guys? Do you think I could take this bracket and stick it over there and take that bracket and stick it over here and we would have some, some able way to catch this so it wouldn't go down so low? That's all that's wrong with it. Because the one over here... This one is broken, but it had it could use that one on that side, and this one could use that one on this side. Is this pretty icky poo poo, eh? Well, it sure does run good. Hmm. Let's just have a look underneath here. Yeah, those are seven sixteenths nuts that hold those brackets on there. I gotta stop thinking about this and doing something here. All right, I gave it what Donnie Boy 73 calls it an air wash. A lot better, eh? As best as I could. I mean, it's a $40 lawnmower. You don't want to put 15 hours into it. So I think the next thing to do now is to take off these handlebar brackets and spin them around. You know, it might be better off uh, tilting it back this way. Yes. So right there are the bolts for the handlebars. One is there. Oops, too bright for you. Sorry. One is there. And one is there. So let's see if we can get that off with a. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that strips, right? So let's just see if we can get that off. We might close the big door too, right? So that looks like a 716 to me. Right there. Yes. Is it coming? I think it is. Hmm. 
Oh, it's a good. It's what do you call those? Uh, carriage bowl. Grab the washers if I can. Okay, now the next one is going to make the whole thing collapse. So I need a little piece of wood. A bigger piece of wood. Just underneath there. Oh, there we go. That should help. I'm not worried about the gas spilling out. Okay, let's see if we can find that other carriage bolt right here. Oh, still in the... Good. Yeah, the nuts are so gooey they stick inside the socket. Good. Okay, the next one's where everything falls apart. But I have it propped up, right? Good. Okay. Now we are going to turn this back upside down, or right side up, I should say. Okay. okay that one goes to that side. I don't know if you guys can see any of this or not, but I don't want to kink the cables. This one's probably a 916. Yep. <laughs> can you guys are looking at anything? Okay, no. Oops. Gotta make it go the other way. Good. And then we'll go to that side. Hoo hoo! I'm going to worry about the handlebars later, except they're connected. So, now we put these ones back on. Can I? Just, uh, what can I do here? It's quite a bit of fooling around to disconnect the cables. Got the right side right now, I think. That goes on like that. Yep, that's right. Good. Okay, you guys are getting the idea on here now. Yikes, it's falling down. Oh, I split it off. Or did I? Yep, I did. See, that's how easy that happens. Okay. I got a little work to do. I got to find a quarter inch carriage bolt. So all in all, <laughs> this little mower is in pretty good shape, eh? Springs are good. You know why? It hasn't been diddled. It hasn't been diddled by the fiddle fairies. So. Handlebars on. So now it just needs a spark plug check, oil change, and a and a blade sharpen. She's done. I might just take this freshly gas rag and wipe it down. A 
I've got gloves on, so what the heck? I think pressure washing this would be a mistake because you blow all the paint out. There. Well, that's just I'm going to use a. He was not! Stop! See if we can get it. Are you still watching? Yes, she is. There's the bullet. 17 caliber. Got a little more of her, too. That'll work. Alright. Let's just do a little more of wiping. Take a break. Alright, I'm just going to take the blade off. But I think I should put the gas cap on so we don't get any more crud down that hole. I just had a feeling this was going to be a good little more. But the trouble is, how on earth do you sell it? <laughs> that bad. It just needs to have that a edge emulated. I'll be back as soon as I sharpen this. Okay, we're going to put a little fuel in here. I think it's a girl. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Working on this thing's a real gas. Uh, half a tank for everybody, right? There we go. Alright. Now I'm going to start it up and then put the air filter on. Okay, I think it goes on like that. So now it has everything done to it. Sharpen a blade. Uh, oh, we haven't checked the spark plug. Let's do that. And it might even have a hokey pokey in it, eh? Laser or something like that. Yep, it's three quarter. That means it could be a laser. <laughs> These old flatheads run pretty dirty. Oh, it's an Ars NGK BM R seven A. Oh, look at the gap. <laughs> Let's measure that. Oh, yeah, let's measure that. See, this is where you don't want to be spending money on a... on an old engine. So I'm going to put a used spark plug in there. It's, well, i got a 35 right here. We'll see if that's... Yes, it's more than 35. See, i got that one labeled 35. Mm. So...
I gotta find a spark plug for it. The only thing that's left is the oil. Clean and balanced blade. It was out a bit. And I just buzzed off a little bit of the heavy side on that. The throttle actually works, eh? Look at that. That's amazing for an old engine. So let's give her a couple pumps. And we'll let the oil warm up a little bit. changed. Three pumps, just like it says in the instructions, right? I want you guys to have a little look at that. That is the coolest thing ever. That's a pen and that's a magnetic holder for said pen. But in the olden days we had oak ladders that kind of were the same concept as a library ladder but they didn't slide along the wall like a library ladder does. They actually slid between rows of equipment. And this was the handle on the right side. This was probably 10 feet long. And then these pens were made out of the steps by my good friend Brent. So if you happen to see a comment by a guy by the name of Brent, he makes this and it was a gift to me. Just for me, I feel so special, man. Look at that. And is that a handy spot or what? Like, we can put it there, we can put it there. Not there, but it'll work. Funny, better steel there. Thicker. I'll knock it off of there. So anyway, I thought there would be a really good spot for it, because I can still open the drawers on the tools. Thanks, Brent. Alright, this little old wedge Wedge field. <laughs> anyway, well made. Almost looks like a Murray, eh? Uh, but it's not. Oh, it might be. Don't know who makes wedge field. What does it say here? Briggs and Stratton powered wedge field. That's all it says. 1992. I'm going to give it three pumps. We'll see if it starts. Cable. All right. Point of interest. I'm I'm putting a new solid wire cable on this old mower, all used stuff, right? And it's going to lay down like that. So I'm going to put that in there like that. Bend it over. Flip this and bend it back and we should have a good z-bend there it's a little, these are a little hard to get off there we go right there el perfecto now we have some adjustment I think my RPMs you know me I couldn't leave it alone right 
gotta, I gotta muck around. I, I, I might lose money on this forty dollar lawnmower. Do you think? I think that's my maximum RPM right about there. That's perfect. Now, I'm just going to tighten up the uh, handlebar on that. Right there. Maximum bunny rabbit and see what our RPMs are. I want them to be about uh, 3100, somewhere in there. Come on! It's on the machine. All right, so I don't know if you saw that, but we set the RPMs to 3360 on maximum because it's a settable RPM lever. Thanks.